Hey guys, welcome to Beer and Watches. Now on today's episode, I'm going to be reviewing a watch that I've been trying to get into the channel for quite some time. It is the Ocean Crawler Core Diver, a dive watch that needs absolutely no introduction. It's got 2,000 feet, that's 600 meters of actual water resistance, a sapphire crystal and bezel, and so much more. You are not going to want to miss this review. Now times are ticking, so let's Let's get stuck in. Hey guys, Matt Johnson here and welcome to my YouTube channel, Beer and Watchers, where every Monday, Wednesday and Friday I bring you watch news, watch reviews and I always mix it with a craft beer brew. Now we're not going to mess around today, we're going to get into the review of the watch that is inside this stunning wood and leather box, absolutely gorgeous packaging on this watch. We're going to get inside here and review this watch. Now I've been trying to get this watch into my channel for quite some time and I know a guy that knows a guy that knows another guy and finally it's here and I could not be more excited. When I show you the contents of this box, oh my goodness, it is going to blow your mind. So without further ado, let's swing this camera around and let's get into the full in-depth review of this bad boy. Here is the packaging for the watch. Now before we get into the actual watch, Ocean Crawl you can check out at this website right here, oceancrawler.com. And Ocean Crawler are an American uh, watchmaking company based in Rochester, New York, and they specialize in self winding and automatic mechanical watches, in particular dive watches. Now, all of the watches on their website come with a five year warranty, which is absolutely amazing. And by the way, yes, I am still rocking my black nail. I actually hit it whilst playing virtual reality. All of their watches are high quality, high end watches for what I think is a very affordable price when you're considering the fit and finish of their watches. This particular watch, the Core Diver, comes in at $999 US. However, I have managed to get some of these by collaborating with Ocean Crawler for an incredible deal. I've got 20% off bringing them in at $799 US, which is a massive $200 off. You can uh, shop those right here at shopbeerandwatches.com. Now, the first thing I can tell you about Ocean Crawler watches is that they uh, are built very, very well. Each watch has to pass 10 shock tests, including a high impact hammer test, which basically submits the watch to um, an impact equivalent of 6,000 Gs. These things are super strong. It's got to stay unharmed and functional after that test. And if it does, then it will be passed on to you. Now, when removing the cardboard box inside here, we have a beautiful, as you can see, display box. It's uh, basically a polished wood with a leather, brown leather outer casing with white stitching. The uh, front of the box here has a magnet in, so you just pull up on this latch right here and then you pop the box open and look at that, there is the Ocean Crawler watch. We've got an extra strap here, kind of a NATO strap on this side with a stainless steel buckle uh, with the Ocean Crawler logo and this is kind of a stretch strap so this will stretch to fit any wrist. In the bottom here I've actually got some extra links. Now these links do come attached to the watch. I've got a seven and a half inch wrist which means that there's probably a couple of inches there so you're going to fit a nine and a half, nine, nine and a half inch wrist with this watch absolutely no problems. We've got a shark mesh stainless steel bracelet with the solid stainless steel H links inside. I've never been a big fan of um, the mesh bracelets until I actually saw this one. It really does look super, super cool on this watch. In fact, to be honest, I haven't actually taken this bracelet off and tried uh, the NATO style strap, the elastic strap. I've just kept it on here. Let's get it off here and then we will get into um, a little bit more about the watch. I just want to show you what we've got under the box here. We have a solid stainless steel um, uh, warranty card here, which has got your member number on there, the Ocean Crawler website, international warranty, again, warranted for five years. And then under here, we have a booklet which is basically all about the Ocean Crawler watch's story, basic operating instructions for your watch, and there's the warranty in the back, the five-year 
warranty. One of the best warranties in the business. This is by far um, the best warranted watch that I've ever had into the channel. Probably by far the nicest watch I've had into the channel as well. Let's get the microfiber cleaning cloth. Just give this a little polish just so it shows off really nicely under the studio lights here. So you really get to see just how beautiful this watch is. Now the core dive line of watches comes in nine different colorways. This one is the blue into silver. They've also got uh, a Great Lakes diver line in three colorways. They've also got the Kraken which is sold out, the Palladino which is sold out and the Core Diver GMT V2 which is also sold out. There's only a hundred of each one so if you do want one of these watches I would suggest diving on it really quickly, if, pardon the pun. These Ocean Crawler watches sell out super 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 quickly and you can see why just by looking at it but once we get into the specs of this it's going to become obvious why they sell out super quickly. Now each one of the Ocean Crawler watches is literally the ultimate diving watch. They've been immersed tested in water, tested to pressures of 2,000 feet. This does have a um, actual 2,000 feet as it says right there just above the six o'clock position which is 600 meters or 60 ATMs of actual water resistance. Now it's got a sapphire crystal face with AR coating and it also has a sapphire crystal bezel that is not a ceramic bezel it is not stainless steel it is actually a sapphire crystal bezel and the markers in that bezel have seven layers of Swiss C3 loom and we're going to be taking this in the dark room in a second to show you the loom on this watch I'm going to try and tilt this back just a little bit to get some of the studio lights on there so you can see the sunburst effect on the dial of this watch is absolutely stunning. I'm just going to change the handset for a moment here just so you can see that logo there. There we go peeking through. Just above here at the six o'clock position we've got Core Diver in orange automatic 2000 feet. You can see just below here it says Rochester New York and then we've got a date window uh, just above the six o'clock position. We've got applied hour markers. We've got a double applied hour marker at the 12 o'clock position. The short one at the six o'clock position so you can see the date window there. Each one of those hour markers has got a strip of again Swiss C3 loom and then a around that on the outside we've got a white minute track. Hour, minute and second hands. The um, hour hand is in that black with loom and then the minute and second hands are bordered with that electric orange which really shows beautifully against that sunburst blue dial. Now the sapphire crystal bezel on this has a 316L stainless steel outer body. It's a brushed stainless steel. It's got indents there at the um, every five minute marker and then between those it's got serrated edges to make it easy to grip. It turns beautifully. It doesn't overhang the body of the watch. No back play in that. Now moving down to the case of the watch. It is a 316L stainless steel. It's got some real weight to it. Good chunky case on this. Feels really solid. Nice fit and finish. It's a brushed stainless steel with a high polish on the edge here. On this side at the nine o'clock position an automatic helium release valve. We'll get to that in a second. And then on this side at the three o'clock position we've got a screw down crown uh, with some really good coin edge teeth to the uh, crown there and also an ocean crawler logo stamped on the crown as well. Moving around to the strap as I said it's a shark mesh stainless steel bracelet. It's very very comfortable very nicely done. We've got some solid stainless steel H links in here. Now as I mentioned I've taken a whole bunch of links out of this strap to make it fit my seven and a half inch wrist. Moving round to the clasp, it is stamped with the Ocean Crawler logo. It's a brushed stainless steel again with some polished edging. If we look at the edge here we've got some micro adjustments. Now on this clasp here the first set of buttons uh, operates the automatic extension. This can be used to uh, make the watch strap a little bigger to go over a wetsuit, a dive suit, but also it can be used if you're just wearing this around and as your uh, wrist uh, swells and uh, contracts throughout the day uh, you can click this uh, give yourself a little bit more room on the wrist I've actually used this quite a lot and it does help during different times of the day to make the watch strap a little more comfortable the second set of buttons here releases the clasp it is a milled stainless steel clasp very nicely done great fit and finish again on there works beautifully does everything it should and uh, that uh, ratchet extension is really useful as I say. Now before we get into the back of the watch let's just look 
at the helium release valve again for a second. Now, the way a helium release valve works is essentially helium molecules are actually smaller than most molecules and certainly smaller than water molecules. Therefore, they can actually sneak into the watch at greater pressurized depths when diving. Now those molecules then build up in the body of the watch underneath the glass. Now if they are not released as the diver comes back to the surface and decompresses, then they could actually blow out the crystal of the watch. And as my mom always used to say, you'll poke your eye out with that. So basically what happens is once uh, the watch goes down to greater depths while diving and those molecules build up inside, it automatically pushes against the helium release valve and pops it out and then that allows the helium inside the body of watch to escape so you'll probably never ever see that work is it needed on a watch if you're not going to dive to extreme depths absolutely not but does it look really really cool on a watch Yes, I absolutely love that. It's a proper functional helium release valve. As I say, it's a screw down crown. Once you unscrew it, it pops out there. Pulling it out to the first pin uh, changes the date. So if we turn that clockwise, as you can see, changing the date there, and each one of those dates clicks in beautifully. This um, movement also has a hacking function. So when I pull this all the way out to change the time, you'll notice that the second hand here stops and that allows for more precise time setting. Absolutely no play in there, works very, very nicely. Push that back in one set, screw it all the way down. I feel sure that that's screwed in and now water resistant. The case diameter on this, if we're not including the crown, is about 44 millimeters. Including the crown, it's gonna be 48.3. The case thickness on this, I expect it to be a bit chunky. Yep, yeah, about 16 millimeters. And the lug to lug on this is 50 millimeters. The uh, bandwidth is 22, so obviously the lug width there is gonna be 22. No surprises there. It's certainly not for those looking for just a slim dress watch. It's got some weight about it. You're gonna feel this on your wrist. I absolutely love love this. It is my favorite dive watch into the channel by a long shot. You know, you can go for something like an Oris or something like that that's going to cost you a couple of thousand dollars. And here you're getting all the same functions, all the same build quality, and even the same movement inside, which I'll show you in a minute. And you're getting all that for regular retail price of $9.99. And as I say, right now on uh, my store, shopbeerandwatches.com, you're getting it for $200 off. So $7.99. Again, I wish I didn't have to send this back. Now, one very quick thing I forgot to mention before we do the loom shot and then get into the back of this watch is that right here we have screwed links. And these are actually male and female links. So you don't need to put a screwdriver on both sides. You just need a screwdriver on one side and it threads into uh, the other side right here. Let's do a quick loom shot. All right, there is the loom on this watch. And as you can see, it's so bright. It's actually lighting up my hand while holding it. We've got full loom on the arrowhead of the sweeping second hand there. We've also got loom on the hour and minute hands on all the hour markers and all the way around that sapphire crystal bezel. Let's flip this over and let's take a look at the back. Very, very easy. We just remove the screw. We don't have to do anything on the other side. We don't have to use two screwdrivers at the same time. We just pop out that one pin there and uh, and then the band will just fall apart and there we are looking at the back we've got an engraved case back with a uh, well an octopus or a giant squid i guess it's the kraken i think is what it is and then here it says sapphire crystal here it says water resistant 60 atms which again is 600 meters 2000 feet um, automatic and stainless steel 316 l the quality of that engraving is very very good because we've also got a slight cutout here they didn't have to add that a small little touch that just lets you know they've gone that extra mile in finishing of this watch we're going to put this into my little watch clamp here so we should just be able to give that a turn and remove that case back. Okay, before we open the case back up on this watch and take a look at the beating heart inside, the movement that powers it, it is time for a beer break. Today I'm drinking birthday cake beer and um, this is the Spectrum line from these guys right here. If you wanna check out their eclectic, and I mean eclectic lineup of beers, go to this website right here. I'll also put that website in the description below this video. This 
beer comes in at 5% alcohol. It's in a 355 milliliter can. And if you can see close up, the beer can is covered in birthday cake sprinkles, which is more than a little odd. Now, I'm not sure if birthday cake is just a brand name or if this beer actually tastes like birthday cake. I think that would be a little weird, so I'm not expecting that, but we're gonna crack it, stack it, and give it a try. Now, remember when pouring your beer to tilt your glass to a 45 degree angle for the first two thirds of the beer, and then for the last third, turn the glass upright and pour more vigorously to get a good head on your beer. Cheers to each and every single one of you. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I can't believe I'm going to say this. That tastes like birthday cake. Now, when I say it tastes like birthday cake, it actually tastes like beer and it's not overpowering. It's not too sugary and sweet, but it's got the slightest hint of like a vanilla sponge birthday cake with icing on it. This is the weirdest thing I've ever tasted, but it's actually really, really good. All right, let's get back to the review and let's get the case back off this watch and take a look at the movement inside. That movement right there, I can tell you is a Salida SW200-1. It's a high beat uh, movement which is 28,800 VPH or vibrations per hour or BPH beats per hour. Now this movement is regulated and what that means is once the watch has been assembled and everything's put together then the watch is set using the regulator arm which basically speeds up or slows down the movement. That is basically adjusted to fully optimize the watch and the rate of the movement and that's all done its regulator before it's sent out to you. Just the fact that they do this extra step with the uh, core divers uh, really helps in the accuracy of the watch. And if I get my little spyglass here and bring this in, hopefully I can show you just there below the balance wheel that's spinning back and forth, you'll see a little pink jewel. Just to the left of that pink crystal, you will see a little screw head. And just above that screw head, you'll see some notches and hopefully you can see a plus and a minus. So basically uh, turning that to the plus speeds the movement up and turning it to the minus speeds the movement uh, slows the movement down, I should say. Anyway, all that's been done for you in this, and that's what regulating a watch actually means. So there you go. The Salida um, SW200-1 movement, as I mentioned there, is based on the ETA2824 movement. You can find those in Oris, I mentioned, Christopher Ward, Eterna Contiki's, things like that. Great movement. There are four grades of the SW200-1. I would think at this price point that this is the standard grade, which is basically plus or minus 12 seconds a day to plus or minus 30 seconds a day. Again, if this has been regulated, you're probably running more around the plus or minus 12 seconds a day, which for an automatic watch is pretty gosh darn good. This uh, Salida movement has a 38 to 40 hour power reserve, and that basically means that once it's fully wound, it will run for 38, 40 hours before um, it needs rewinding. Obviously, if you're wearing this, then uh, the um, movement from the rotor is going to wind it for you. So uh, as long as you're just taking it off to put on your nightstand overnight, then you shouldn't need to wind the watch after its initial wind. Very nice, all round good workhorse Swiss movement. So there you go, my friends, the core diver from Ocean Crawler. Took me a while to get it in, but it was absolutely worth waiting for. What a cracking watch. And for the price, you are not going to get better build quality and finish than this. Trust me on that one. So if you want to check them out, you can get them at that discount over on my store at shopbeerandwatches.com. Right now, I think they're available in all the colorways. Right now, at the time of filming this video, they certainly are. Again, thanks so much for dropping by please do leave me a thumbs up it means the world to me guys and also leave a comment in the comment section below and also if you have any comments or suggestions for me or my channel again please leave those in the comment section below as always if you're not subscribed yet please do hit the subscribe button to the bottom right of this screen or below this video if you're on your mobile device and that way you can subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell notification so you don't miss a single video every Monday Wednesday and Friday thanks so much guys it was an absolute pleasure thanks for stopping by Enjoy the rest of your week. We'll see you again on Friday for the final episode of Mark Spector's incredible watch collection. Now, if you haven't seen it yet, do click on that video right there. That's a good one. And don't forget to click on the Beer and Watches logo right there to subscribe. I'm Matt Johnson. Take care and bye for now.